shows that you can't ride an intermiss like me. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys and girls, it's me the Bebro here, and today we are doing my very first mod review. Yay, so me excited. Yay. Um, awkward. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this mod review. If you do, please leave a like. Remember, comments are welcome. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to see some more awesome stuff. And if you're curious, curious, like I was not going to tell you, we are doing the Ender Stuff mod. If you remember, I'm the king of the Endermen, so this works out great for me. Anyway, let's get started. So, be right back. Okay, so basically, we are going to be reviewing the Ender Stuff mod. It's a really cool mod. Hope you enjoy, as I said in the preface, or, well, whatever that was. It's just preface. But, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is the Ender Stuff mod. So, let's just get started with the crafting recipe. And if I don't include anything, I am sorry, but I went over everything. I think I got it. I might be forgetting something if I am. Please don't be mad. Look it up on the wiki or something. Check it out for yourself. Sadly, I do not have a link to the mod in the description because I am using a mod pack to get this. I just figured do it with the mod pack because I don't have to go download the mod. But let's just get started. So first of all, we have the Ender Pet Staff. You simply craft it by one stick, one majestical budger, and an eye of ender. And if you're wondering what an ender pet staff does, we'll get onto that later in the video. And here we have the Niobian book. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. I actually had it. I just watched the video to see how to pronounce it a second ago, but um, I'm not. I forgot. Anyway, you simply use. Three Niobian ingots and three string, like a normal bow, instead of six Niobian ingots. And if you're curious how to get Niobian ingots, simply go to the end and mine these. You get Niobian ore, which can be smelted into Niobian ingots, just like iron or bludger or any of other of those ores. Well, that's really all, so. Anyway, back to the mod. We have Block of Niobium, which can be crafted into nine Niobium ingots. And nine Niobium ingots can be crafted into a Block of Niobium. I just thought I would throw that on in there. And here we have the Niobium Bow's Heel. Well, arrow. You could use normal arrows, but you'll see why you want to use these arrows in a second. Anyway, to craft this Avis arrow, you need one stick, one Avis feather, and one Ender Pearl, which are obviously dropped by Enderman. And you get Avis arrow. Moving on, here we have the duplicator, which is absolutely awesome. And to make the duplicator, you need two Niobian blocks. Which is crafted by nine Niobian ingots. One, two, three. Anyway, a, a six in stone. One diamond block. So this is expensive, but it will be worth it after I'm done with this. I'll show you why. And this is like an enchantment table. It's a little different, but now you need two Niobian blocks, and an eye of ender, and three good old fashioned obsidian. Am I doing this wrong? I might be doing this. I don't know. Anyway, back to the mod. Biome changer. That gets you a biome changer. Biome changers are awesome. They do exactly what they say. And here we have the uh, Avis compass, which allows you to find Avis eggs, which, as it says, is broken. Anyway, I just if they ever fix it, it will be you'll know. So you need eight Avis feathers. In a normal compass to craft an Avis compass. And we'll be right back with the test. And we're back with the duplicator. 
So basically, when you right click the duplicate, and you get this. When you get this, well, I'm not doing the intro. But what you basically do is you need a fuel. Why use emeralds? I mean, why use butter when you can use crappy emeralds? Use butter to king. And you simply throw in a diamond sword. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you need a second diamond sword. I don't see them anymore. I really don't. I'm kind of a noob. Please do something. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so I found out the problem. And that problem is... It only does blocks. And what better block to do than Majestic Budger? Okay, tell me. Oops, maybe not ores. I suck at this so bad. Okay, we're just going to use end stone. Anyway, so it will duplicate any block but ores, I guess. I don't know. And basically what it does is awesome. I'm using diamonds because you don't want to use your hard one Budger. And you get three back. Which I thought that was really cool. And I guess we're moving on to the next thing. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. And this is a biome changer. A very cool little thing, in my opinion, at least. So, obviously, you have to put some stuffy madoodles in here for it to work. We're going to keep that range 16. And what we want to do, because you're going to notice the biggest uh, thing on this, is this and notice this awesome little laser in minecraft you're gonna have to be a little more quiet right now there you go and notice this really cool laser but you'll start to notice what is this the grass is changing because we selected the h word biome and since this is a clean video i am not saying it let's just call it the nether biome but this is really cool I just thought it was really cool because, I mean, look at the texture of this. That's just so cool. And as you can see, the biome has changed. And that's just a really awesome feature. So cool. And we'll be right back with the next little thing. And we're back to test out the Niobian bow, if I'm saying that correctly. So, basically, what this will do if, um, you know, yeah. If you don't use an Aegis arrow, so it's just like a normal bow. The arrows do the same thing. It just goes back a lot faster than a normal bow. Now, this is the cool part. So, bye-bye, little arrow. The Aegis arrow. If you do that, look, it goes straight. Just really cool. Like, I mean, look. Pew. Pew, look how, I mean, look at that, that's so awesome. Pew, 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 pew. They go, and they go straight, so like you can shoot very far away. I mean, for example, see that sheep way over there? I missed because I aimed up. You don't even aim. Okay, he is hard to hit, he is far away. But, as you can see, it goes absolutely straight, and there he is dead. See this little guy? Dead. Okay, I suck at a bow. Yeah, I'm still not used to aiming directly at them, but you literally aim directly at them no matter how far away. The bow range is limited, is unlimited. At least I think. Until it hits something. Now, this is something really funny and cool you can do. Like. I'm racing the arrow! Why am I doing action music? But still, as you can see, it's really cool because you can race your arrows for fun. But that's just that cool part. Now we're going to get into some of the monsters. Be right back. Okay, so you're seeing this in a different order, but I actually forgot to mention this little guy in the actual video, so I had to edit this part in. I am sorry for that. But basically, it's like the gas of the end. Hopefully, it's a spawn a few. Yes, giant. They're um, they're really they're they're actually giant. See, there you go. Uh, down here, noob. Get on my level. Do you even Minecraft? There we are. Uh, it does do some damage for sure. It's very fierce. But um, anyway. But yeah. Anyway. 
that was the inner ray. They're the as as sky this Minecraft once called them the giant burnt hamburgers. Anyway, we're moving on. All right, so we're gonna start out with this little guy, Ender Nimbus. Oh, my bad. Have it on peaceful. Forgot. Anyway, the Ender Nimbus is very cool. I guess. Kind of looks creepy. He is hard to kill, obviously. He has 80 health. He is definitely not the easiest guy you're gonna fight. Let's just despawn him so he doesn't come back. Haunt us. And now we have the Ender Ignis. I believe if they walk, they leave a fire. Or like if he walks on water, obsidian. And this guy would leave ice. I don't really remember. I watched the mod review, and that's what made me want to do this. But just like the other one, 80 health. So um, they definitely are harder mobs. And the final one, hey, what's your prob, dude? I put it on the peaceful. Despawn. He better have just despawned. Okay, he's a mad guy. He's really mad. And now we have the Ender Avis. Source of all this craziness. I don't I don't think you can tame them, but if you kill them, they actually poison you, if you can't tell. They drop um Avis feathers. Just you already know. Let's settle the downfall real quick because we don't want rain. But as you can see, I do have poison, so they are mean little guys. And last but not least, we're going to have my favorite part of this mod. And we're back with the final part, the Ender Mist. Nice little person. Oh, I, I couldn't remember which one, so. Nice little person, Ender Being, 40 health. And this is where the Ender Pet stat comes in handy. There's something special about this little Enderman. You can tame them with little majestical butter flowers. And this is, you simply right click them to see this stuff. And I am going to name Budger, Budger, Budger is cool. Oh, wait, you know what? Eh, that's too much. But, um, basically, you can do so much cool stuff with this little guy. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Butter, 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 Ender Mist. That's not her. I never put the Ender Mist in there. Which is, um, anyway, so this is obviously a better name. Subscribe to it. So, see, that name there. It's way such a good name. And there is so much cool options you can do with this Ender Mist. But in my, f one of the weirdest ones is sit. Look how weird they look. It's weird. Stand up. And you can make them follow you. So you ne don't lose them. Stay. Which actually doesn't. Put into an egg, which allows you to do this. So, so you can spawn one. And then the final option. Okay, you lost your name. But whatever, mount. Yo, I like riding Enderman, such I'm cause a boss. I just said it backwards because I don't even care. So don't mess with me, cause I got an Ender Miss. Yo, 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 yo. One, some. Okay, there's mobs that aren't in this thing. Ah, yeah, some more. Ah, you. More, more. Well, I think this is a good way to end the let's play. If you enjoyed, okay. What the? Heck? If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It means a lot to have your support and subscribe if you're new to the channel, as I said in the preface. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what mod you want me to do next. And that's about it. See you guys later. Bye bye.